Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one, because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are, because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain. She never got to be a little girl. I talked to her like she was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Alexios, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. If only he had shared this burden. We only knew him as he presented himself to be, but who's to say that wasn't his true self? This war has taken so many. Even Vrasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. I heard Cleon was found on the beach. Massacred, no less. It was no worse than what he would have done to his own people. I had to follow through. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Alexios took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see? That would suit a drama. There's been no love seen yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To us, who have persisted through everything, and to those who wanted to persist. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 